Welcome to the story of Elijah and the widow. This story is from 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 8 through 16. The lesson focus for grades 3 and 4 is trust God. The prophet Elijah, who preached to King Ahab, is introduced in chapter 17 of 1 Kings. Many times in these stories of kings and prophets, Israel's God is pitted against Baal, the Canaanites' fertility God. God's provision, faithfulness, and power are emphasized throughout such stories. Zarephath was a commercial capital and port city on the Phoenician coast. In this story, the entire area was experiencing a severe drought, and the people were calling on their gods of life and rain. When God sent Elijah to Zarephath, Elijah was told there was a widow there who would feed him. Elijah arrived hungry and thirsty. He asked the woman for some water, which she gave him. He then asked her for bread. She protested that she had only a handful of meal and a little oil, her last meal with her son before they would starve. Elijah promises her that if she makes him a cake with these last provisions, his God, the God of Israel, will not let her or her son starve. And it was so. She made the cake, and the jar of meal and the jug of oil never emptied. God picked an outsider, a Phoenician, a destitute widow who worshipped Baal, to feed Elijah when he came to Zarephath. She, in turn, became part of the story of God's amazing care for all people. God's love goes beyond all of the boundaries we create for ourselves. God loves and works with all types of people. God feeds us, and when we listen to God, we learn that we can feed others. Many call this story a miracle, but it is not a strange, supernatural kind of miracle. It is a miraculous partnership. People are fed when there is no food. This happens because God puts two unlikely people together and makes it work. God chooses the unchosen, and amazing things happen. When we listen to and trust God, God uses us to do amazing things too, often in partnership with people we would never imagine. Wondering how you're possibly going to get ready for this Sunday School lesson on top of everything else you need to do? Take the lesson focused to heart and trust God. If conditions in your class get too loud or distracted and you struggle with getting your kids' attention, Ask them to help you come up with a silent signal you can use to get their attention when things get too loud. Relationships are important to this age group, including time you spend together outside of structured time. This may mean stopping to have a conversation in the hall or even sending a card now and then to remind kids that you care about their whole lives, not just when they show up for Sunday school. During the opening prayer activity, if you don't want a real flame, use a battery-operated candle instead, or just make a flame out of yellow and orange construction paper. No matter what you use, the drama of a fire will capture their attention. Before class, build your own Elijah story wheel so that you can have a model to show the kids, and so that you can be sure how it's done. If kids enjoy this way of showing and telling about a story, you may want to use this technique for other stories, too. This lesson covers the very real, very sad facts about world hunger. Help kids do something about it by having information about ways they and their families can be part of a local food pantry or a global organization. Your pastor can help you find the information you need. Wonder with your kids at the amazing faith the widow must have had in this story as you learn and reinforce the message, Trust God.